Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome back to Subnautica, where last time we built this beautiful, beautiful, glorious Cyclopean Cyclops, which is called the Tux. It's my submarine. It still has uh, some amount of power. Probably a fourth of its cells are discharged, right? Uh, not yet. That's pretty cool. Uh, we took the prawn suit down inside a giant cave where we found the disease research facility or something. Was pretty fun to explore that, but uh, we had to leave the prawn suit and we actually died to come back in here. But we still got the data that we went to find, and so we're gonna take a look at that right now. So we have a self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. So these are the warpy things that I thought were aliens, but they are not. Uh, they've been genetic, genetically modified. Uh, they have an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid. Okay. They have face technology. Okay, fantastic. Warper parts. Uh, terminal data. What did I find? Damage report. So, the facility detected a leviathan in this perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with seafloor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Uh, one specimen unaccounted for. Infected individuals may not leave the planet. So yeah, basically I think they were trying to, to build a bacteria or something. Uh, they tried to destroy it when the facility was destroyed, but they didn't find uh, a way to destroy all of them. And one leaked inside the planet, which is probably what I'm infected with. Kara Contagion Profile. Uh, first encounter during routine network expansion on Outer Worlds. Uh, network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed death, 143 billion individuals. Okay, so this is a, a bacteria not native to this planet. This is something that infected the whole alien worlds. It attaches to healthy living cells, mutates the basic genetic structure, uh, gradual immune system failure, green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms, unpredictable alterations to biological structure, complete shutdown and executive function. Cold World's quarantine, bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. So, okay, so this planet was an isolated outpost for researching the vaccine, and then it failed hard. Uh, specimen research data, small herbivore, common peeper, leviathan embryos, adult specimen too large to study in containment, egg specimens acquired from nesting sites, embryos show no sign of immunity, death commonly occurs within three weeks, small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high-priority research on leviathan hatching mechanism, Okay, large carnivore theta, uh, potential for immunity to infection, an identified leviathan, assigned designator C emperor, bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity, okay. So maybe this leviathan is the key to heal ourselves from the bacteria. Uh, nice. It may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. Uh... While well, it is unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. So I might not have found everything I needed to find, apparently. Uh, this is not useful. Fauna, herbivore small, the deceased. Remains of research specimen. Uh, not really interesting there. And flora, we don't care. Time capsules, we found a few time capsules here and there. Uh, yeah, that's not a... That's not good enough for me. I got the stasis rifle as well last time, but that's not very interesting. Modification station. This I almost found. Uh, what does it do? Access to a mod station is always recommended. And a moon pool. Dry dock for small vehicles like the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit. Pressurized pool. Ready access to surrounding waters and comes as standard with equipment for raising and recharging a vehicle. An outfit. Okay, so you can recharge vehicles. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can outfit it with a vehicle modification station and you can build upgrades. Okay, nice. And we also have some advanced theories. Sea Dragon Egg. A medically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized with the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen. It is possible the aliens thought to study the egg laying and incubation process to what end is unclear. Okay. Well, I think we did uh, what we could in here. So we're going to grab our submarine and leave this place since we left a beacon. We're going to try and find some more food and water because I'm running very low on that. I still have a nutrient block. We're going to eat that. I uh, should keep that for another time, but okay. And uh, we are going to move back to the base and maybe try to modify our station. Or maybe, maybe we could take a look at the various Cyclops upgrades that we could build. 
Because there is a Cyclop uh, upgrade station somewhere. Uh, I think it's down. I think it's down here. No, nope, maybe it's here. Yeah, that's thing. Uh, so we have depth module, ingredients unknown, efficiency module, we already have one, shield generator, sonar upgrade, and decoy tube upgrade. Okay, so I don't have any of these uh, blueprints, so I don't know how to build all of that. So we are going to get back up, leave this place for now, trying not to explode our cyclops in the process, and leave the prawn suit down here. We can always uh, swim back to it if we want at some point. So we're going to be able to climb back up. And move back to our base using the Cyclops. So it's not too hard to find the way back now. We have the the beacon. We should be good. But this thing is very deep. And yet the problem is my Cyclops cannot go inside this because I don't have the depth module for it. So what I'm thinking is we're going to try and build a modification station to see if we can maybe upgrade the Seamoth to go deeper down. But 900 meters seems pretty low for the Seamoth, probably. Okay, we're going to leave the submarine now. Oh, we should... Oh wow, okay, we're having we're having a leak. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the engine and I'm gonna re to repair this thing. If I can, I hope I can repair it with that. Doesn't look like I can repair this. Oh yes, repair. Okay, you can only repair the like the damaged bits. But I'm thinking this is done. No, we, we do have something here as well. Let's repair that as well. Come on, I can repair this. I saw it. There we go. Anything else uh, to repair on the sub? Doesn't look like it. We're good. Okay. That's a Oh, my base is flooded. How's my base flooded? What? What the hell? Why is there water in my base? What's... What's happening here? I mean... Oh, there's damage here. Okay. Oh, I damaged my own base by hurting it with the, seam with the Cyclops. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Now you can evacuate the water if you want, that would be nice if, I, if you could. If you could just remove the water. I don't know if you can, but if you can, please do. And weirdly, the water is not down here, it just floats up there, which is very strange. And we don't have... yes, we do have power. Why don't we have light in here? Uh, we're gonna just store this thing here. Some med kits, we don't need all of them. Yeah, we need some food and water, so let's go for a quick expedition to grab a few of these things. And uh, then we'll just uh, move along. Okay, so we get, we've got seven bladder fishes. We've got some food to eat, and uh, we should be pretty much ready to go back to the base and try to find what we need. So we're gonna do just that. Well, at least go back to the cyclops and make that food, because our base doesn't have any, any, anything to build anything really. Uh, okay. So now we're good. Uh, is there any batteries that I can charge or is it anything is anything full? Yeah, okay, so I can just recharge all of my tools, might as well. Uh, let's put some fresh batteries in it. There we go. And charge all the empty ones. There we go as well. We're gonna store some of our stuff here so the acid mushrooms can be stored. Uh, what do we need for a moon pool? Titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. So it's pretty expensive. We're not going to do that. Yeah, nothing much. Uh, so we're going to go and try to find the ingredients to find uh, the modification station. Then we'll find what we need to build a moon pool. Okay, so one last fragment of the mod station. Let's try to grab that. Uh, it was around this place, I think. Uh, we also need some lead, so we might as well look from, for some outcrops. Uh, to try and find a little bit of lead. There's another outcrop right here. Oxygen. Yes, I know. I'm gonna die. Let's put on the rebreather immediately. So we can... No, that's not working. I'm gonna die. No, shit. That was stupid. That was so dumb. That was so, so dumb. Come on. I lost some belongings, they say. I lost all of my... God damn it. It took away all the... All the things that I had just found. Come on. Okay, can we build a sea glide to try and maybe go faster? Because, yeah, I'm sick and tired of swimming by myself. Uh, fire extinguisher, rebreather, tools. Where's the sea glide? Don't I have the... I don't have all the basics for the sea glide. Or maybe it's built through here. Sea glide. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Uh, I think I have all of that in my base. So we're going to go build a sea glide to go a little bit faster. Because, yeah, I'm 
tired of swimming by myself. It's just annoying. Oh, there's another thing to repair. That's why it's not fixed yet. Training systems. Well, it, it drains super fast. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we need battery, copper wire. We're gonna grab some of the copper here. Uh, great, I have no more vehicles. That is uh, that is awesome. Where's my Seamoth? It's back there. Let's swim to that. I put on the radiation helmet as well. Uh, if I find some copper, I will actually build a sea glide because, gosh darn, I'm sick and tired of being super slow. Come on, Seamoth, I will reach you and not leave you alone. Maybe the resources I lost are right where I died, though. That would be nice if I could just uh, grab them back again because I had found some lead, some, some silver, some... Some gold, I think. A uh, bunch of titanium and lithium. Wasn't too terrible. I lost all of that when I died, which is really bad. Okay, yes, seems like everything is here. Yep, exactly. Nice, I can just grab it all back. Now let's grab the flashlight. So we found all that we lost, or almost all that we lost, which is great. Let's go and try to find some more outcrops in the way to try to find some more resources and the modification station parts. Because we still need one of those. Two lead. Okay, so now we can build this. Uh, let's build the moon pool. Can we build that? Oh, it's it needs to float. Okay. We're gonna make it float right above the base. Let us build that thing. There we go. Can we enter that? Or it looks like a base of some kind, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a way in. Oh, okay, yes, there is something. Oh, nice! Okay, interesting. Is it damaged already? Weak parts. Seriously? Build reinforcements. Okay, this thing is not happy. It's, uh, it's not holding. Okay, I'm gonna deconstruct it and maybe build it somewhere closer to somewhere where it wouldn't break, right? Moon pool, can I build it down on the seafloor? If I build it here, is it going to fail as well or... Or is it going to float? Oh, it seems to be good this time. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's reaching the ground, that's good. So that's a moon pool. Okay, so that's basically some kind of some kind of weird base which does not produce oxygen. So we need to to put some stuff in it. We need to put at least a base attached air pump and maybe a solar panel. So quartz, titanium, copper, and titanium. We're gonna keep exploring uh, near the biomes where there are mushrooms because this seems to be a good uh, a good place to find the stuff that I need, especially some outcrops and stuff like that. If I find some caves, I'll ow, I'll go in the caves. Just try not to find a Leviathan if we can uh, at all help it. Come on, modification station upgrades. Modification station blueprint. That's all we need. Oh, that's a time capsule, probably. Time capsule. Might have some resources in here. Uh, what did we find? Oh, found a ton of stuff. What is this? Cured Reginald. Large filtered water. Oh, nice. Large filtered water. That will probably satiate me for just one complete cycle. That is awesome. Let's drop a save. Pretty cool, this. Very happy about this. That's a piece of something here. Modification station, please. Where is it? It's right there. Modification station, yes! Now we have it! Nice! Modification station. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. Okay, uh, so diamond I have, lead I have, titanium I have, and computer chip, I think I have what it takes as well. Uh, where's the computer chip? Table core, sample, copper, wire, and gold. So we might need a little bit more copper than this. Uh, we're gonna have to take a look at the Cyclops just to check. Good. Now we have the computer chip, we can go to the mod station. And we just need one lead, and I think we do have some lead somewhere. That's lithium. And there is lead. Good. And I'm gonna store the silver, the quartz, uh, the lithium, because it's not needed right there. And we're gonna keep all of that. Okay, good. Do I have what it takes? I do. And I need to build that at a moon pool, apparently. It seems to be buildable in here. 
Let us build that. There's no power in this thing. I may want to build some power. Yeah, I think I need to power this thing up. Uh, solar panel is just quartz. I have two quartz in my Cyclops. We're gonna do that. Okay, so now the mud station should be active, right? Yes, okay. Survival knife upgrades. Air tank upgrades. Fin upgrades. Propulsion cannon. Cyclops. Uh, okay, well, there, there is no Seamoth upgrade I can find. Okay, so, yeah, the upgrade station is good, but not that good. I already have the thermal blade. I could have an ultra-high capacity tank, though. I have my high-capacity O2 tank. I just need four lithium. Let's go do that. No, well, wait a minute. I still need to check what we need to build other stuff, because if I can build the fins to go faster, I'll do that. Uh, what do we need for the fins? We need some fins, silicon rubber, and lithium. So I just need to grab two silicon rubber and some lithium, and we'll be able to do that. So, air tank upgrades. Yeah, we need to remove that air tank. And the fins. Air tank upgrade, O2 capacity. Yeah, that's a big-ass tank right there. Gonna equip that. I cannot do the fence for some reason. Why? I still need lithium. Didn't I, didn't I grab all the lithium I needed? Apparently not. Okay. Let's make the ultra glide fence. Nice. So ultra glide fins are in there. Uh, swim speed considerably. More O2. That's great. Uh, we should be good now. Let's go store all the things we don't need in the Cyclops and, well, probably try and move back to the place where we need to go, honestly. So yeah, we, we still need to find a bunch of upgrades, but I, I can't find them. I don't know where they are, so this is going to be tricky. Because I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. So yeah, how do I find the upgrades I need? I need some nickel as well to build uh, the Neptune thing that I want. Uh, where is it? The Neptune platform is thermal blade, I know about this. Neptune boosters, I need three nickel ore. Aerogel, I think I should be able to do that. Wearing kit, I have what it takes. Plastic ingot will not be a problem. So we just need to find some nickel. And I don't know where the nickel is, but I'm guessing it might be down. So we're gonna start and get a move on and at least go towards uh, the cave where we left the prawn suit and try to get back to there. There we go, we need to eat something. I do have a cured Reginald, and I can drink some of my own filtered water. Uh, let's drop a little save. And we're going to go down there. And swim back to the prawn suit. Let's just try not to get eaten by something. At least we have the lights from the Cyclops, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna use the rebreather because I don't think there's radiation in here, right? Swim down to the prawn suit. Try not to get eaten by your leviathan. Do we have anything to recharge it if it fails? No, I don't. Okay, that's not great. Uh, I hope it still has power. Maybe I'll find a way to make it jump back up. That would be cool. I'm not really seeing a big increase in speed, honestly. Not really seeing a big increase in my swimming speed. Yep, there's some stuff trying to eat me here. I know about you guys. There are big things, hungry things. My oxygen is about okay for now. Just need to find the way down. What is that? Oh yeah, I was extremely far away, Jesus. Ow! Should not go inside this thing. Yeah, even with the giant O2 tank, it might not be feasible to, to go back to the prawn suit, honestly. It's it's really deep down. <laughs> yeah, well come on. I almost reached the, the point where I could uh where I could enter the Cyclops last time. I was like 100 meters away, so I will definitely be able to go to the prawn suit right there. The only problem is I didn't grab uh, anything to recharge it, so I hope it's okay. Should have brought enough to build a moon pool down here. Probably would have been a better idea. But a solar panel would have been completely and utterly useless though, so maybe not. Prawn suit. There we go. It is uh, 61 power. It's still okay. 
We have plenty of time to do some stuff. I hope it still has oxygen when it's unpowered. No, before we go down again, I'm gonna save. Uh, we get, we need to find some nickel. So we're gonna keep going down here and try to find the nickel we need. I have no idea where it grows, so might not be an easy task, honestly. But yeah, it's really dark in there. I might just, just for the sake of seeing stuff, if I could just, uh, like, I don't know, is, isn't there a filmic neutral? Yeah, let's neutral color grade so I can see better because right now I just cannot see shit and that's annoying. Can I go deep down here? Oh, is it too deep? No, we can't do that. Is there anything I can explore in here or is it too deep? No, we can look at that. Copper ore, I cannot find. I can grab some of this. Oh, there's a radio message now, apparently. Well, maybe that's going to be my clue. Organic and fossilized remains, that's good, but that's not really what I need. What I need is to get the hell out of here, but I don't know how to do that. So I lost my Tux submarine. Where is it? Oh, it's... it's. Yeah, I'm not going in the right direction, I think. But I didn't explore this place, I think. This doesn't uh, look familiar to me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get the hell out of here and try to listen to that message. So it's uh, in this sort of a direction. Uh, maybe with uh, the light better set up, I can now find uh, how I get out of this cave without uh, leaving the prawn suit down here, which would be cool. So if I can uh, take my prawn suit with me, might be more efficient for resource gathering and, uh, and looking for stuff. We'll have to see about that. I'm not 100% sure I can escape, but I'm, I'm going to take a look and see if I can. If I can't, I'll just swim back to the tux again. I, I do have the oxygen needed for that. I access the storage, grab all of that, even that maybe, enter the prawn back up to get all my health. We're gonna jump as far as we can, then exit the prawn suit. Then we're gonna jump up, 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 and as fast as we can to try to reach the tux. And try to not get eaten as well. I'm gonna grab my little blade as well. Tux is back there. We're gonna keep swimming towards the, the wall. Just to not get spotted by anything too big or too mean. We're gonna get back to the submarine. Quietly and easily. Because I know there was a, like a glowy leviathan down here. And I really don't want to encounter it without any kind of uh, locomotion means. I don't have a submarine, I don't have anything, so I don't want to meet that thing. A ruby, might as well pick that up on the way. I don't know where the Leviathan is, but I can't see it. Hopefully it won't attack me. Yeah, I should really have built a sea glide if I could have. That thing would have been a lot faster, probably. Just going on foot. Yeah, 153... Uh Oxygen, that's all right. Uh, yes, but but where's the exit? Okay, through here, probably. Yes. Well, the cock is the exit now. Yeah, that's the sub, right? But that's not the sub. That's just the light from the sub. Yes, okay, I can see it. 129 meters. Uh, 100 and, no, okay, we, we, we can't catch that. What's that sound? Okay, good. I'm aboard. Yes. Yes, I survived. Good, 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 good. I'll store some of that crap in here. Okay, let's listen to the radio message. Uh. Okay, that was very clear. Thank you. Can I translate that, please, or...? Or not. Because <laughs> I don't really know what that is. I, I don't really know what that means. Oh, 
Okay, great. Well, thank you for not translating it this time, game. Uh, that, that was... I went back to listen to the radio message and now it's it's garbled mess. Okay, I'm really lost now. So I'm gonna have to regroup and think about my options because I really don't know what to do next. I don't know where to look for the nickel. I have explored pretty much all the biomes I could find and I didn't find any nickel. So it's gonna be tricky. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but I think I'm gonna just look it up online to see what I need to do because I cannot uh, spend 50 hours uh, trying to look for the stuff I don't know where it is. So, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you really did like the video, I have a Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!